वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट ईयर ओवर ईयर वेरियंस एंड इट्स परसेंटेज सो ईयर ओवर ईयर वेरियंस इट्स अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन करंट ईयर्स रेवेन्यू विद द प्रीवियस ईयर रेवेन्यू एंड द परसेंटेज यू विल बी गेटिंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस difference percentage is the yoy variance percentage so when you go to the detailed view you can see these are the years we are having and these are the revenues we are having with respect to these years and you can get the previous years revenue of course the previous years revenue will be the just minus 1 so 2000 you can just uh, take out this 2015 so from 2016 if you start by taking 2017 the previous years revenue will be 44725 and that will be shown in this table column for the was 725 so to get the yoy variance you need to take the difference between this total revenue that means the current revenue of 2017 and you need to take the difference with the revenue of 2016 that is 447 so you will be getting a result of 42794 this is the yoy variance so if you need to get the percentage of yoy variance you need to divide this yoy variance with the previous with this 44725 so you need to get do it with respect to all the years then you will be under you will be able to understand the measure of growth just in these years for your company or for your product so that is the definition itself where okay? you can measure the growth expressed as a percentage so with a percentage you can understand okay how well your growth is going along with the years so you can see here since it is a first year it is having a good growth of 95 percentage but in the second year it went down by 9 percentage the third year of course it got back 37 but in the fifth year that is 2021 it went 32 percentage down so you can plot it in a chart also and you will be able to understand that through this visual how we are the measure of growth is going along with the year so you will be doing the same example we are having in the data set we are having the total revenue that is a sum of revenue and we will be having a calendar and in the calendar we are having the date column where we are having the hierarchy of year month and date with quarter we will take a table visual and in this table visual we will get the year all the years we will take and we will get the total revenue of the years now we will create a measure for previous year so for getting the previous year you can use the dax function date add with the date add function you can get the previous year revenue so we will write it as previous year revenue equals to calculate total revenue and from this total revenue you can filter it by previous year so you can use date add function and calendar date and number of interval is just last year so minus 1 and the interval you need to give it as year since we are getting the year so you can drag it that also inside first year's difference it will be huge because from 40 to 44725 it will be a huge margin so we can avoid that in the graph because of course this is a startup year so definitely you will be having a big hike now we need to get the difference between these two columns that is the current year's revenue and the previous year so you can create a measure for that the name it as yoy variance so the difference is called variance so you can take the total revenue that is a current years revenue minus previous years revenue and you can select that inside the table and of course the first year it will be 40 the second year definitely it will be a huge margin third year also there is a huge margin fourth year onwards we can have we can understand that exact growth we can understand from the fourth year onwards so the fourth year it has gone down then it has come up once again it has come up little bit then it is going down huge margin so in this way you can understand the variance but if you get the percentage it will be more easy how much percentage you can understand so it will be more clear that the growth rate will be shown very nicely so you can create a measure for that so yoy variance percentage equals to you can just divide the yoy variance with the previous years now we need to select this and you can select the percentage because since this is percentage you need to select the percentage symbol here and now we can select the y o n variance percentage inside the table so here we can understand okay the first one is this much percentage because from 40 it is on to 44000 but the other one you can see minus 9 37 14 minus 32 percentage it is going down and it is fluctuating like going up and down through this way you can understand the growth and the level how the company is moving forward so you can you can use a cluster chart to visualize this so it will be more useful for the end user to understand it more clearly you can select the cluster chart and here in this cluster chart you can select the date and from the date you can select the year and remove all the other co- quarter month and date now you can just select the year yoy variance and here we are not able to see any other columns because this is the the first column is 
showing too much you can just right click here and exclude the first column this is like almost like filtering it out so when you go to the filter here and see that has been filtered out so we are getting the values from 2017 onwards actually from 2018 it is going in a smooth so only for 2017 it is in a very higher rate the remaining it is going smoothly like just fluctuating fluctuating little bit 30 percent 30 percent here and there so you can visualize it more clearly by using a conditional formatting to these columns you can go to the visual and you can go to of course you can give the data label and then you need to go to the columns and in these columns the column default color will be shown here you can go to the function conditional formatting and in this function which field you need to format you need to format the variance so you can get the variance here the lowest value you can give very very light or thin color and of course it has already given and the highest value you can give the dark color so usually you can give your green and you can give your red color red color should be given more importance because when you give, show the red color the end user will understand okay you need to give more importance to these red color values so here itself we have given very low color light color and we have given the hard color here for the maximum value and we will see how it is so you can understand okay the hard color that is the the, the growth that is 95 percentage it is showing very thick in color and the growth which went down that is showing light color and this growth has gone down 32 percentage that is showing very very light color if you want to change the color and reset to the default you can just wipe away the color by just clicking this rubber button you can give it as red and blue itself so in this way you can plot the yoy variance percentage using a cluster column chart so this will be more meaningful when you give a mid value or something and then you can plot it in a very meaningful colored way so if you want to have a slicer for the products you can give that also you can select the product name so you can select the variance percentage with respect to the product you can select a product and you can see how it is performing in this all these years so this day this product is performing very badly in all these years because it's at just gone to 53 percentage down also and two years it is going very low percentage and you can see if other than 2017 that is the starting year which has not having a growth at all and you can select another product but of course this product is having a little bit growth in 2020 but other years it has gone down same for other products each and every products also you can select of course this product is having a fair growth but in the end in the last year it is going very down so like this you can analyze the products or another analyze the total revenue with the products with the region everything you can do it by using year over year variance percentage hope this will give you insights upon this year over year have a nice day thank you